Hello, John. Good morning. Um, great to hear from you. Uh, let us know how you've been going. Um, I know you've had uh, some interesting uh, months. Uh... <laughs> yeah, interesting. Life, life is always interesting. Or well, my life seems to stay really interesting. Um, I've had some really cracking young horses in the barn recently, and, and one of the new arrivals is a um, is a, a cracking young event horse from Melbourne in Victoria. And he was second at dressage and jumping with the stars. And he won the young event horse at Wand, and he's had some really good results. But he's had some little behavioural issues, um, which is why he arrived at my yard. And um, I got on him the other day after taking some precautions, making sure we were in a safe place. And he just lost his mind, really, without anything more than two steps. He went into... Um, all four feet off the ground bucking and groaning and he got me off which was fine I would have been fine but he came bucking over the top of me and jumped on me so um, I got a very nice helicopter ride to the Liverpool ICU uh, where I've spent nine days and I've I've been out out of hospital almost um, two weeks but i broke four ribs i've got two of them are displaced that still crunch around when i take a deep breath and i had a bleed on my spleen and a collapsed lung little bleed on my brain so it was it it was really just the impact of him jumping on me but of course the first thing that i did from the icu is request my my health because uh, you probably remember when i first met you i had a couple of acute injuries a bad um injury with a with a hedge trimmer and a bad burn from boiling water. And I was just so thrilled with the results from those two acute injuries. I knew that my best friend coming out of that crash was going to be my, my health. So I've been diligently multiple times a day and, and really mostly off the body because when I do on body, even when I go over those ribs, it gets really sharp um, coming over the injury site. So I've just been rotating through, um, a biocell matrix carrier and, a, and acute mostly and then filling in a couple of others like bone and um, chronic and um, general rejuvenation as well and I do it just sitting around I just put it on auto uh, on off body and let it run and yeah I'm doing really well for three weeks in I'm making a remarkable recovery well, you're actually driving today, so um, that's that's got to be a good testimonial to your upper body strength, considering you've broken four ribs um, and got a bleeding spleen and all these other things. So you're you're doing remarkably well. <laughs> yeah. And look, I can't see what it's doing. It's not like the the uh, external injuries that I had before, but I know, based on my experience with that hedge trimmer and that boiling water that I just need to keep diligently applying the my health protocols and I'm going to be able to speed things up remarkably. Fantastic. Now, I, I did remind you earlier you've, you should uh, be scanning yourself and using the ERs as well because within those uh, systems of the device you've got a whole series of uh, patterns helping meridian pathways and organs and brain holograms and, and sh dealing with shock conflicts and there's all those tools as well so we'll, we'll, we'll make sure you're doing the scans as well and working on that. Um, look, uh, what's the next stage for recovery? Are they, they've obviously done scans. They've got um, they've got shots of your ribs and other elements. It'd be lovely to get some comparative uh, photographs. Um, maybe when you go back and get your follow up, what sort of time period are you looking at? I think I think I think they see me the uh, the next follow up with uh, outpatients. I think is on the eighth of next month from memory. And I'll make sure I get a copy of the before and after images because uh, they also did like a, a full CT scan and um, I'll, I'll make sure that I get any images that we can use. Yeah, look, that would be wonderful. I mean, the CTs and uh, x-rays, uh, all of that would be fantastic. Um, I don't know if they do any functional testing of your spleen and other things, blood counts and stuff. Um, all oh. these things would be really, uh, really interesting to watch. Absolutely. Well, because they definitely they did bloods every day, chest X-rays every day. When I was in there, there'll be lots of 
stuff from when I was in the hospital, and it'll be interesting to see if they do take blood again um, on the on the follow up. Wonderful. All right, John. Look, wonderful to hear from you. I'm so glad um, you're, you're up and about and obviously functioning well. I know a lot of finesse practitioners have seen uh, some of what's happened to you on Facebook and are aware, etc. Um, how does this sit with your, um, your Olympic event um, and your progress towards that? Oh, man. Like, um, I, I would say... Or I was talking to a client yesterday and I said to them if it wasn't for the pain I've got in my ribs I'd be back on a horse tomorrow but because of the spleen and the lung the doctors want to wait minimum three months for me to ride or f even fly they're saying at this point so um, they've made me promise that I won't do anything until they sign off on me but I'm hoping that given I've got the my health to speed things up that once I go back for that three month checkup that they're going to give me the okay to get back in the saddle because three months is a long time in my world mm -hmm. do, do you have a horse lined up to go for trials with no and of course the worlds are on as we speak the world equestrian games are on in Tyron and in um, the states and we still haven't really located a horse that would go to Tokyo. And that's only two years away now. So we're probably getting to the point where we're going to start to push it uphill. Um, and that's really just a price point, finding some... I mean, we could buy a horse that could get into trials now, but I've got a list, a short list of horses, and they range from 600,000 through to 1.5 million euros to, for a try-on horse at this point. And I still haven't um, been able to locate somebody who's going to push that much money at us. Well, you never know. A lot of people listen to the Ness uh, um, uh, Facebook. Uh, somebody might have that horse that's right for you. Absolutely. And we're all, I mean, we've got some lovely young talent, um, all of which are off with other riders at the moment because I can't do anything for three months and we need to keep them going. But... Um, yeah, it would be lovely to align with somebody who who aligned with my um, Tokyo goals. Um, which events would you be aiming for for Tokyo? Oh, for the, the three-day event, the horse trials. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, very best of luck with that. Um, very speedy recovery. Keep up with your My Health. Great to hear that you're, you're using it and you know it's making a difference. And um, we look forward to catching up with you in a month to uh, maybe do some comparisons of, of uh, images and, and how you're recovering. Uh, I look forward to it too, Cyril. Great to speak to you, John. Thanks very much. Talk to you soon.